Hi, everyone. How are we? Um, I'm James Barr. I do look cute and innocent, but I should warn you, my jokes are ruder than James Corden in a restaurant. I'm 38 years old. Thank you. I know I do look really hot. Um, I have the same doctor as Simon Cowell's neck. Um, who's in a relationship? Oh, uh, you're the perfect person. How long have you been together? Uh, fuck. Two years. Two years. It's going well. There's someone sat between you. Is this your couple's therapist? <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm actually fresh from celebrating three and a half years with my boyfriend. Thank you. And I don't know if you relate, like being a gay man, I grew up with a lot of shame, so I sort of felt like I didn't deserve love, and it took me a really long time to find it. But, my God, isn't it boring? <laughs> <sighs> being in a relationship is very boring. Um, we've been together for three and a half years, and I don't know, but in lockdown, it kind of killed the magic, so our relationship now feels a bit like Jesse Nelson from Little Mix's solo career. <laughs> Disappointing, and everyone's trying really hard to make it work. Um, I used to make quite a lot of effort, but I don't really bother anymore. You know, like I used to close the bathroom door, and now I just leave it wide open. <laughs> and that is just when I'm shaving my pubes. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. I don't do that now. He's trapped. Um, <laughs> the other reason that I've stopped shaving my pubes, I wonder if you do this, is the environment. Like, I'm quite concerned about what happens to them, because they're, they're quite thick, right? So, what happens to them when I flush them away? Like, do cute, innocent little sea turtles gobble them up? <laughs> I don't want a fish choking on my pubes, guys. I don't care if a man chokes on them, that's consent. But I can't do that to Dory from Finding Nemo. Just keep swimming, just keep... Um, the other thing I used to do is I used to hold my farts in. Do you still hold those in, guys? No, you just let them out? Yeah, did you do this? Like, I had a bit of a trick, so I'll share this with you. I'd be so concerned that my boyfriend would hear them. Can't even say the word. <laughs> uh, that I would, like, sneak to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and then I'd take my finger, and I would place it over my hole so that I could disperse the pressure into a two-phase flow. Did you do that? Did you do that? Not yet. Not yet? Did you do that? Did you do that? Come on, someone must do that. Just me? <laughs> um, yeah, it's been three and a half, three and a half years now. Um, and I don't know, if I'm honest, I just feel like life was a bit more fun when I was single, okay? I, I was free. When you have a boyfriend, you have to run stuff by them. Can I watch... Bridgerton tonight? Can I order a Domino's to our bed? Can I fuck our next-door neighbour, Paolo? <laughs> now, Paolo is unfortunately straight, but I do think I've got a chance because his girlfriend is miserable. <laughs> Gets crossed. Um, but yeah, when I was single, I used, to tra I used to travel way more. I used to wake up in Brixton, Balham, Tooting Beck. <laughs> I had all the apps, guys. Hinge, Tinder, Tombola Bingo. Uh, I think that relationships are a bit like Brexit, because my parents said it would secure my future. But I miss freedom of movement. <laughs> and sucking off foreigners. Because when you're in a relationship, right, you're just sucking the same dick day in, day out. Are you two together? No, who's got a boyfriend in here? Oh my God, right, hi. How long have you been together? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? <laughs> to be honest, that's, that's like 10 years in gay years, so <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> but yeah, you're sucking the same dick day in, day out. I mean, my God, I feel like a key worker. I should be getting a pay rise. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, being in a relationship, you know, the sex isn't as good either, is it? Let's be honest. I mean, the other day, I asked him where he wanted me to come, and he said, in the other room? 
It's got so bad, our safe word is now. But we did it last month. <laughs> Sometimes we don't even finish. You know, like when you don't need to watch your favorite movie, you don't need to get to the end of it, right? Like, I've seen The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. I know how that finishes. <laughs> I warned you fuckers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, guess how many men I've slept with? Go. What do you think? How many men have I slept with? What do you think? It's okay. Safe space. Thank you. 150. Great start. Um, I do think I'm a little hotter, though, but thank you. Any higher than 150? What are we thinking? Just shout it out. What? 500. Thank you. Any higher than 500? Any higher than 500? What are you saying over here? 15. <laughs> That is so rude. Uh, I actually don't know, to be honest. I did have a list, but that became an Excel spreadsheet. With, like, with all the different tabs, bum sex, oral. Did we enter each other whilst listening to the soundtrack to the Moulin Rouge? Um, I think, if I'm honest with you, it's probably over a thousand. Is that judgment? <laughs> I was basically, I was trying to get to 10,000 so I could have sex in Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> but he's actually started talking about marriage now, which is kind of amazing, because um, if we get married, he'll be my ex-boyfriend. Oi, oi, control your bird, mate. Um, but yeah, he is actually amazing. And I ran all of these jokes past my boyfriend, so don't worry, I'm not a horrible person. Oh, phew. No, I did, and I was like, what do you think? Are they okay? And he said, yeah, like, I get it. You're really just using this exaggerated version of me as an avatar to unpack the trappings of compulsory heterosexuality. And really, it's kind of a comment on the heteronormativity that underpins our entire social structure. And also, why are you still making jokes about me when we broke up like a month ago? <laughs> it's a true story. So I'm back on the apps, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. I was having a really meaningful conversation with this one guy on, um, on Grindr. And I don't know, they just, people are so great on the apps, aren't they? I was like, hi. And he replied, hi. What are you up to? Not much. Oh cool, I like your pics. A day goes by. Me again. Hi. What are you up to? Gym. Oh, I was gonna go, but like I'm so hungover, lol. A day goes by. Me again. Hi. What are you up to? Hungover. You? <gasps> He's so into me! Uh, my God, yes. Uh, I've been James Barr. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful night. I love it.